couple stories I just uh, heard about. Um, first of all, before I say anything about, you know, this, I, like I said, I don't care what it is you want to be. You want to identify as this, that. Yeah, I, you know, like I said, I wish I could identify. I identify as the the owner of Bank of America. Where, you know, I I identify as the president. I identify, but where's my money? I don't know. I'd, I'd like to. Do, I'm identifying as a. You can do. You can. You can identify as whatever you want. I don't care. It's your business. You know, you have the right to do it. But doesn't always mean I have to partake in your your mental illness. You know, like this pronoun shit, like, like I wonder what my pronoun would be, you know, fuck you. <laughs> I, I don't know, but here's the deal. This kid, young kid uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina, it was, there, was, there was a Pokemon, Pokemon tournament. I didn't even know there was a trading card tournament. I don't even know what exactly, I don't know anything about it, but they're doing the Pokemon thing. And one of the judges, you know, kind of was, I guess it was his turn to do whatever it is they do. And this was a young kid. And one of the judges, you know, didn't ask him a Pokemon question. Didn't ask him. A, he asked him, okay, you know, whatever his name was. Um, what are your pronouns? And the kid got startled because he didn't know what to say. Because he was expecting a, a Pokemon question of some, some sort. And he goes, uh, 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 um. <laughs> uh, uh. And because he chuckled, because he was nervous, he didn't know what to say. The judges, you know, he just sat down and just, he's like, I just, I got stage fright. I didn't know what, I was prepared for a Pokemon question, whatever that would be. And they asked him, what's your pronouns? And he didn't know what to say. And so he just was, um, um, <laughs> um, the judges all got, all seven got together, disqualified him from the tournament, cut his wristbands off and pushed and, and sent him outside. And his parents weren't there because they just dropped him off because they were at the, at the, at the, the, the the hotel and so they he didn't and he didn't have a cell phone he didn't know how to get in touch with it, and they just threw him outside because he they said he was homophobic because he didn't know what to call himself he didn't know are, are, are you are you people insane and it gets better it gets better I, what's his Sam Sam something he's some he's not, I, think, I can't remember his name he's supposed to be some artist that he's pretty famous and and I guess that he was doing a um, I think he's British or something like that he was on a talk show and the, the, the people were asking they found out he liked to fish and you know so they you know the, the host was bringing oh we, we heard that you you, know, you like to fish and he goes oh yeah yes I love I love it you know I love being a fish of them and she goes excuse me what a fisher them, not a fisherman. He calls himself a fisher them. Fisher them. Instead of a fisherman. Where the fuck did they grow you? Like, this is, this is insanity. Fisher them, them, pronouns. Fisher him is what they're, they're not not fishermen. Trying now it's, it's it goes beyond the trans and this and that and I'm a they and I'm a them and I, now now it's Fisher him or Fisher them, not fishermen. I'm gonna leave it at that before I really snap and go off and say some foul shit because this we are a banana republic. That's the, our our country is the laughing stock of the world. In other countries, you got, you know, third graders putting together, like, they're doing trigonometry, and, you know, and our third graders are, you know, trying to figure out if they're a boy or a girl and what their pronouns are. We're doomed. I was watching this thing yesterday. You know, I was going to put it up, but people would probably lose their fucking minds, but this is a video guy, guy, guy goes walking around the streets and asking people different questions. And he was in, I think he was in New York or something. He was just asking people, hey, I remember one time I told you the story before he asked this one person, hey, how many states are there in, in the United States? And she goes, um, 20? Like, he asked eight people, none of them got it right. Ask, you know, another person, you know, hey, how many hours make up a day? And, they, and everybody, nobody said 24. Everybody was like, 12? Eight? I mean, and, and this time he asked some people, he's like, what's, uh, <laughs> Who's the vice president of the United States? 
you know, um, uh, uh, Hillary Clinton, and he's, <laughs> and another one thing he asks, you know, how many, <laughs> how many, <laughs> How many countries in in North America? <laughs> and, and it was like, and she goes, name or name some, name some, and she goes, um, Europe. And he goes, that's one. I'm kidding with her, acting like it was the right answer. And, he, and she goes, um, China. And these weren't kids; these were like these were like adults. We're doomed. We're doomed. The stupidity, the woke. The insane, I mean, the, the, the politically correct, the, the, I'm, I'm offended. Oh, I mean, it's just, we're doomed. I used to make jokes about it because it was gonna, it's sad now because it's now it's affect, it's going to affect all of us. Now, all the shit that's going down, I mean, you're, well, it's, it's already affecting us, but it's, uh, it's sad. I can't even, usually I make a big rant about it, say some funny shit. I can't even say anything funny about that. This is, this is this is embarrassing. This is we're the laughing stock of the world. Third world countries laugh at us. I never thought I'd see it. How many hours make up a day? Uh, twelve. How many states are in the United States? Um, uh, twenty. And those were college kids. They were in college. We're doomed. <laughs>